Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this kind of animation videos in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the video useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 4.0.2, nice. So first of all, let's clear this default gem by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's import our animated character. So here I will be using this Mixamo, just create an Adobe account, log in using that. And after that in characters, I will be selecting this character and come to this animations after that and let's search as slash which will be sword slashing and from here i will select this animation simply click on the animation and it will be loaded onto this character and overdrive i will bring this to zero so that we'll get some slow motion and after that just click on this download button so format let it be fbx skin let it be with skin so that we get the texture also and frame per second i will select this 30 and click on this download button so now let's import our animated character here. So go to this file, import. It is an FBX file. So select this FBX and locate the file and import. So here we got the character. So let's increase the scaling. So select the armature, press S and increase the scaling here. So you can see we got the character and also it got the keyframe. So if I play this, we got this kind of animation. Nice. So now let's add a sword in the hand of this character. So in order to get the sword model, I will be using this Blender Kit. Blender Kit is free to download. So here I will search as sword and from here I will select this model. Just simply click on the model and it will be loaded here. So it, we got the sword. So right click and select the objects, press S and increase the scaling. And now let's bring the sword here a bit. So here we got three objects here. So let's select all the objects of sword and press Ctrl plus J to join them. Now let's bring this world origin point onto this world. So shift S and select this cursor to select it. Now we got the cursor point here. Now let's add a single bone onto this sword so that we can parent the sword with that bone. So for that go to this add armature, select this single bone. And by the way, if you're not getting the single bone option, go to this edit preferences, come to this add-ons and here look for rigify. So enable this rigify add-on and save the preferences, close it. Now go to this add armature and single bone. Now we can see we got the bone. Let's increase the scaling and let's rotate this here. So I think this is fine. Now select the sword, hold shift key and select the bone. Now control plus P to parent it. Select this bone option. So now we can control the sword by using this bone. So select the bone and we can move the sword completely. Now let's place this sword in the hand of our character. So beyond the first frame, so first of all, let's bring this world cursor point onto this hand position. So select this world cursor position and place it here. Now select the bone, shift S and select this selection to cursor. Now you can see we got the sword in the hands of our character. Now we need to rotate this. First of all, let's reduce the scaling. Press S and reduce the scaling. So I think this much is fine. Press one for front view and let's rotate this here. So yeah, press three for side view and let's rotate it. So now you can see we have placed the sword in the hands of our character, okay? So now we need to make this sword follow the movement of the hand. So if I play this, you can see the sword is staying in its position. Now we need to make this sword follow the movement of this hand swing. So now let's see how we can do that. So for that, let's select this armature, character armature and let's rename this as main armature. Now select this sword armature and also rename this as sword armature just for our reference. So now select the character armature. Let's come to this options here, viewport display and make it in front so that we can see the armature visible. So now we need to make this sword armature follow the movement of this hand armature. Okay. So first of all, let's change this pose mode and let's select this bone here. We want this sword to follow the movement of this bone so let's select the bone come to this bone option and let's check the name so here the name is mixamo rig right hand now change this to object mode now select the armature of the sword change this to edit mode select this once again select the armature of the sword come to this constraint properties add object constraint and select this child off so in target we need to select the character armature so let's select the main character armature and in bone, we need to select the 
hand bone so let's select the hand bone so right hand so here we got this right hand bone so select it now the position is changed here just simply click on the set inverse now it is in the same position now change this to object mode now if i play this you can see the sword is following the movement of the swinging hand nice so now let's hide out the armature in viewport so hide it out in viewport and hide the armature of sword also so now let's import a statue here for importing statue i will be using this blender kit only so here i will search statue so here i will use this statue so first of all let's bring this cursor onto this world origin so shift s and select this cursor to world origin okay so now just click on this image and we will get our statue loaded here so here you can see we got our statue so let's close this now select the statue press s and increase the scaling so i think this much is fine let's place it here so here you can see we got an empty for the object so this object is parent to this empty so if i select the empty if i increase the scaling the scaling of this object also increases and if i move this the object also moves so first of all let's clear the parent so select this empty alt p and select this clear and keep transformation now select the statue alt p clear and keep transformation now select the empty here and delete it so now let's select the object press 7 for top view and let's rotate this in this way okay and let's place this first of all let's save the project ctrl s so now if i play this i think we need to move this a friend so i think this much is fine and also i think we need to rotate the sword here so here the angle is not proper so here you can see the slicing angle is also not proper it is bit off so let's bring back this word armature let's select the armature here and let's change this axis to local now change this to rotation and let's rotate this here a bit so i think yeah this will be fine so now press one for the front view and let's see where this sword will be slicing the character so from here press one frame forward and it is passing in this way so let's select this annotation tool select the character select this annotate tool and change it to on surface press one for front view and let's draw this so i think yeah i think this is fine now we will have this tool on the character okay so now we need to cut this object at this position so for that we will be using boolean modifier so first of all let's add a ground plane so go to this add mesh select a plane here press s and increase the scaling now let's bring this here and let's change this origin to global press one for front view let's bring the plane here and rotate it sideways so that it matches the cut here okay so let's reduce the scaling i think this much is fine so now using this plane we will be slicing this statue into half so first of all let's apply scaling of the statue so select the statue go to this object apply apply rotation and scale for this plane also select the plane object apply apply scale so now let's apply boolean modifier and let's see how we can slice this up so select the character come to this modifier options add modifier come to this generate and select this boolean modifier so type let it be difference and in object we need to select the plane so now you can see as soon as i apply this plane object this below portion is getting disappeared so we need to fix that first so let's close this or let's remove this modifier so in order to get rid of that we need to add some thickness onto this plane so select the plane come to this modifier once again add modifier and add solidify modifier and thickness i will change this to 0.005 and apply the thickness here so now we can apply boolean modifier onto this character so before doing that let's duplicate the statue so select the statue shift d now you can see we got the duplicate copy now we need to move this into new collection press m and select this new collection and let's change this to hide crack and okay so now we got this duplicated statue in a collection so let's disable this viewport display now select this statue come to this modifier options add modifier and add boolean modifier so in object let it be difference and in object select the plane now you can see we are not getting this error happening so apply this modifier and now you can delete the plane select the plane and delete this one 
so let's delete or erase this annotation also so let's erase this annotation and here we got keyframe let's delete that keyframe also so now you can see we are getting that crack visible right we will be hiding that one using this duplicated copy so let's enable this duplicated one come to this statue select the statue come to this modifier add modifier and add solidify modifier now increase the thickness a bit now you can see we can hide this crease here so i think minus 0 0.02 okay this is fine so now we need to add a keyframe for the visibility of this duplicated one in the render let's move one frame backward so till this frame we need to have this main duplicated copy visible so first of all let's apply the solid frame modifier and add a keyframe for this render visibility press i on the keyboard now move one frame forward so now we need to disable the render viewport so hide it in render viewport and add a keyframe so that means till 37th frame we will have this duplicated statue visible after that it will be not visible in render okay so in this way we can hide that cracks visible from the starting frame so let's hide this in viewport also so now we need to separate this upper portion and below portion now so for that we need to move to edit mode so change this to edit mode here so we need to deselect the vertices whichever are selected so simply click on this empty space to deselect all the vertex so now place the cursor on this above portion now press l on the keyboard to select the linked meshes or vertices now press p on the keyboard and select this by selection now again press tab key to exit this edit mode now we will have this as separate object we got this above one and we got this below one also so now select this upper portion come to this object set origin origin to geometry in the same way select this below portion object set origin origin to geometry this is important for the simulation so we will be applying rigid body physics onto this upper portion right so make sure this origin point is set to geometry okay so let's hide this out and here we got a piece visible so let's delete that so press tab key for edit mode change this to face selection select the faces and delete those faces okay now again press tab key to exit this edit mode let's bring back this upper portion okay so now let's add rigid body properties onto this object so select this upper portion come to this physics property add rigid body so type let it be active and shape change it to mesh and here mass i will increase this to 500 kg so now if i play this we will have that object falling down now select this below portion add rigid body here we don't want this to be falling down we want this to be staying in its position so type change it to passive and shape change it to mesh also so now if i play this you can say this below portion is staying in its position this above portion is falling down okay so let's add a ground plane so go to this add mesh select a plane press s and increase the scaling here so i think this much is fine so for this plane also we need to apply rigid body physics so select this plane apply rigid body so type let it be passive so now if i play this you can see this piece is interacting with the plane so here i don't want this piece to be falling down at the starting frame only this should happen when the sword slices this object so for that we need to deactivate the rigid body properties on this upper portion so select this upper portion scroll down come to this dynamics option expand it here we got this deactivation right enable it again expand this one and enable this start deactivation so now if i play this you can see it is staying in its position we want that to fall down when this word is slicing it so we need to select this sword for this also we need to apply rigid body so apply rigid body type let it be active and shape change it to mesh so now if i play this the sword will be falling down here the sword got the keyframes right so for that we need to enable this animated option also so enable this animated option so now if i play this you can see we got the required effect but this upper portion is moving apart so let's fix that so for that let's select this upper portion and let's see where this word will be passing through the character so let's move forward in the timeline and here you can see at 39th frame this word is passing through or getting out of this character so beyond that frame add a keyframe for this animated option and add a keyframe here so here you can see we got a keyframe added now move one frame forward now disable this animated option and add a keyframe now let's check this once again so if i play this once again okay so now you can see 
we got our desired animation done properly so if you want to increase the weight of this upper portion you can do that so select this upper portion and let's change this to 5000 kg and also come to the surface response options increase the friction and also come to the sensitivity options and reduce this margin value to 0 0.001 so now let's play this once again okay now you can see we are not getting that much of jump when it has the value of 0 0.04 so reducing this margin value will give us a different output so now you can see we got our desired animation done properly so once you are happy with the result come to this scene properties come to this rigid body world we need to bake the simulation so come to this catchy options so here simulations starting and end frame i will reduce this to 200 frames and just click on this bake button so here i will reduce the timeline to 200 so now the bake is done and if I play this, we got our sword slashing effect or animation done properly. So in this way, we can create these cool animations in Blender using rigid body physics easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.